available. Before moving to the details, let us have a look at the headlines. had a conversation with the Indian nurses working all over the world and country saluted them adding that they are a non-violent army. Rahul Gandhi urged Congress leaders of Assam to lend help to the people affected in flood. Bupin Bora thanked Rahul Gandhi for supporting the people of Assam. Schools and educational institutes to remain shut declared Education Minister Rotul Nanath on Wednesday. No work, no money. Interdoctors of GB went on indefinite strike, locked the office of medical superintendent at GB hospital. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi had a conversation with the Indian doctors and nurses working around the world on the eve of Doctors Day. Also thanked them for their dedicated duty at the crucial time of COVID-19 pandemic. On the eve of Doctors Day 2020, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi took a note to have a conversation with the Indian doctors and nurses working around the world. As a part of the series of interactions, Rahul Gandhi held a conversation with the nurses and doctors and thanked them for their dedicated duty at the crucial time of COVID-19. Rahul Gandhi further said he knows how dangerous is the job for the doctors and nurses and that it's not an easy job and that they are risking their lives for it. He appreciated their dedication and pledge to stand for them in every possible manner. You should feel that we are with you. We understand you are doing a dangerous job. We understand this is not an easy job. We understand you are putting your lives on, on the line for this. And we appreciate greatly what you are doing all over the world and in India. This must be easily the most difficult time that you have faced. I don't think... Any of, you, any of you would have seen anything of this scale. Can you give me a sense of how you are feeling uh, while you are sort of in the front line? When this COVID started, we initially thought this is a simple flu. Mm -hmm. And we thought the flu is killing more people than COVID. So we didn't took really seriously this one. Once that uh, once the COVID start rolling over and then, then we see the news every day and then Italy and um, the, the mortality rate is going higher and higher then that time. Starting the conversation, Rahul Gandhi inquired about the experiences that the doctors and nurses have faced while fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Giving an answer to it, the nurses said that testing patients is important and challenging as well. The nurses and doctors added the key things one should follow during this crucial time of pandemic is wash their hands frequently and properly as much as possible and use a proper personal protective equipment or PPE. What is your biggest learning from this epidemic? What would be your advice to Indian hospitals, Indian nurses, Indian doctors now that you've been through it? What would you say are the key things that one has to look at? So wash the hand. Wash, wash the, the hand. You have to wash the hand. In the, during the day, like I do 12 hour shift, during the day, in 12 hours, we do 100 times. Oh, wash the hand. Rahul Gandhi further asked the nurses and doctors to give a brief sense of what kind of fear do they face while serving the people at the hospitals during COVID-19. On this, the nurses said as they need to come in direct contact with the patients coming to the hospitals, initially a fear of getting infected and confusion prevails in their mind whether the patients are positive to the virus or not. Among the patients, among those who think they are going to get sick, among the nurses, among the doctors, can you give me a sense of what this fear was like in the hospitals. What did you feel? Were you worried that something might happen? What, what was the sense? Uh, for me, I work in acute medical unit, so we receive patients directly from the community. So the initially there was a lot of fear. So who's going to catch this virus? 
Rahul Gandhi showed concern on the fact that when there are increasing positive cases of coronavirus in the country, testing is decreasing day by day. On this, nurse Vipin Krishnan from AIMS New Delhi said, It is very saddening issue in our country that when the infection rates have increased by 30%, the testings have decreased below 5000. This is very surprising that while the rate of infections is increasing, the testing procedures have been decreasing in the country. मगर मुझे एक चीज की बड़ी बड़ा आश्चर्य हुआ कि काफी अस्पतालों में दिल्ली में मुझे बताया जा रहा है कि टेस्टिंग भी अलाउ नहीं हो रही है हाँ जी राहुल जी बहुत दुख की बात है दर्दनाक वाली बात है क्योंकि आ, मैं आपको एक उसके बारे में एक स्टैटिस्टिक बताना चाहता हूं क्योंकि ट्वेंटी सेवन मई को हमारे दिल्ली का इन्फेक्शन रेट था थर्टीन पॉइंट उस टाइम पे हम सात हजार टेस्टिंग कर रहे थे एवरेज पर डे अब हम जब बारह तेरह पे आ गया तो हमारी इन्फेक्शन रेट थर्टी परसेंट के अबाउ बढ़ गया है और हमने हमारी टेस्टिंग पांच हजार की नीचे लेके आ रहे ये बहुत आश्चर्य की बात है क्योंकि ड्यूरिंग द कन्वर्सेशन बिपिन कृष्णन ए आई एम एस सेट द नर्सेज डोंट कम अंडर द रिस्क अलावेंस कैटेगरी ऑफ द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट बोथ नर्सेस एंड डॉक्टर्स एज हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स वी आर फाइटिंग दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन इन द फ्रंट लाइन लाइक द आर्मी इट इज लाइक वी कैन कंपेयर इट टू अ बायो वार ए स्मॉल माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑर्गेनिज्म इज चैलेंजिंग द होल वर्ल्ड एंड कंट्री देर फॉर रिस्क अलावेंस शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ही फर्दर एडिट टू नर्सेस लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ इन डेली एंड द गवर्नमेंट Government promise one crore compensation, but nothing has yet been done in this regard by the central government. The nurses and doctors, they know. So, uh, as healthcare workers, as we are fighting this COVID in the front line, uh, like the army, it's it's like a it's like a uh, can we can compare this like a bio war? Because it's not a bio war, but a virus, a small microscopic organism, is challenging the whole world yeah. and our country. So we are fighting like uh, like the army or the force. So I am not comparing this with our force, but at least uh, I think you will agree with that we are fighting as an army. Rahul Gandhi assured to write a letter to the central government in this regard and try and help the families get their compensation amount soon. Rahul Gandhi saluted the nurses, adding that they are a non-violent army. Bureau report, Halabol. ACC secretary and Congress leader Assam Bhupen Kumar Bora expressed deepest regards for Rahul Gandhi while thanking him for standing beside the people of Assam during their difficult times. Also solemn to help the people of Assam during the natural disaster that is flood in every possible manner. Assam is battling twin disasters of flood and coronavirus this year. Floods triggered by heavy monsoon rain killed people and forced many to flee their homes. According to the reports of weather department, the Brahmaputra River in Guwahati is flowing above the danger level and more rain likely to hit in next few days. In this crucial disastrous situation in Assam, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi expressed severe concern and grief on the uncontrollable situation where many have already lost their lives so far. Rahul Gandhi expressed condolences to the families who lost their lives in this heart-rending disaster. He further asked the Congress leaders and workers of Assam to come forward and help the affected people in every possible manner. Responding to the urge of Congress leader Rahul Gandhi to save the people and provide relief to them at the time of natural disaster in Assam, Bhupin Kumar Bura, Secretary, AICC and Congress leader of Assam said that he feels proud that Rahul Gandhi comes forward and stands for the people of Assam whenever needed. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Amit Shah recalls the people of Assam only at the time of elections. He further added Rahul Gandhi visited the homes of five deceased students killed by Assam police and consoled the family members and now too when the people of Assam are dealing with severe natural crisis he has stepped forward to lend help. When you are in Assam, you are in the same way the police are in the same way Rahul Ji is in the same way the people of Assam are in the same way. Today Rahul Ji has been in the digital media which is in the same way वो माध्यम से आसाम का जनता में जैसे बाहर से गुजर रहा है बाहर से आसाम का जनता जैसे परेशान है इसको लेकर अपना चिंता व्यक्त किया है और आसाम का हॉल कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता को उन्होंने निवेदन किया है कि हॉल कार्यकर्ता बाल पीड़ित के साथ रहे और बाल पीड़ित को मदद करने के लिए उसने कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता को निर्देश दिया है मैं एक कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता होने के नाते राहुल जी का जो निर्देश है वो मैं अपना आसान का अपना समय और अपना समर्पण 
लेके हॉट रोड का मदद करने के लिए कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता बांध पीड़ित का साथ रहेंगे और राहुल जी को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूँ ये आसाम का जनता का हर समस्या का समय में राहुल जी हमारा साथ देने के लिए सेक्रेटरी भूपेन कुमार बोरा एक्सप्रेस डीपेस्ट रिगार्ड फॉर राहुल गांधी फॉर स्टैंडिंग विदिजन ऑफ आसाम इन दिफिकल्ट टाइम्स ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट हल्ला बोल 39 member committee decided to postpone reopening of schools online classes to continue relief for students said education minister rotul nanak at a press meet on wednesday 39 member committee decided to postpone reopening of schools online classes to continue relief for students said education minister rotul nanak at a press meet on wednesday he said schools and other educational institutes across the state will not reopen for the time being the decision has been taken in the 39 member committee constituted by the state government comprising experts former minister and director of education senior journalists and leaders of student outfits such as avbp and sui and sfi the meeting decided unanimously to postpone reopening of educational institutes for the time being in view of current covid situation but the state government will further tone up the system of imparting online classes by incorporating new methods school e je sob chhele mera porbe tare 1 to 5 jara ache tare sports er jonno 10 taka कल्चर प्रोग्राम दस टाइम्यूशन तीन मास हो गए क्या जयन करी दिन रात हमारे नाइट शिफ्ट थे सब किस थे पढ़ी क्योंकि प्रथम दुई मास टाक ढुकना The intern doctor further added, each one of them have been working for 16 to 20 hours and facing all kind of risks during this COVID-19 pandemic. Wherein every other state pay rise or bonus is provided to the doctors, respecting their dedicated efforts during the times of pandemic. The Tripura government is not paying their basic salaries to them from past two months, and in this situation, pay rise or bonus is a daydream for the doctors. 
করে ডিউটি করছে এন্ড স্টিল আমাদেরকে কোনো পে রেজ দেওয়া হচ্ছে না এক একটা স্টেট দে মেড শিওর কি যাতে ইন্টার্নশিপ এত কষ্ট হচ্ছে দে আর গিভিং সামথিং এট বোনাস হিসাবে অ্যাজ এ দে থিংক দ্যাট আমরা অনেক কাজ করছি এর জন্য আমাদেরকে একটা পে রেজ দেওয়া হচ্ছে বাট এখানে না পে রেজ তো দেওয়াই হচ্ছে না প্লাস আমাদের টাইমলি টাকাও ঢুকছে না তো এট লিস্ট উই ক্যান এক্সপেক্ট দিস মাচ কি আমাদেরকে পে রেজটা দেওয়া হবে প্লাস টাইমলি টাকা ঢুকবে কেন আমরা এখানে এসে স্ট্রাইক করব স্ট্রাইক করার দরকার কি আমরা যেরকম ভাবে সবাই ডিউটি করছে আমরাও করছি তা আমাদের টাকা এমনি ঢুকবে না কেন আমাদের একটা বোনাস অ্যামাউন্ট দেওয়া হবে না Ironically, when today is Doctors' Day and the Tripura doctors are suffering in crisis, but the Tripura government pays no heed to the problems of the doctors. Allegations have also been raised by the doctors for not having any proper PPE kit while they are treating every kind of patients and doing all sorts of work amidst the coronavirus pandemic. This is a huge issue and it should be in this Dhaka which is the digital mode. But we have to take a look at the first month and we have to take a look at the first month and we have to take a look at the first month. रिपोर्ट Well already family of terminated 10323 teacher Dhirendra Das has been suffering because of termination from job physical assault on him and his family by BJP miscreants rubbed salt on his wounds centering the fight between boys in schools playground BJP hooligans beat up a former teacher severely Centering the incident of fight between two boys in playground at the time of playing ruling BJP party supporter family and relatives attacked terminated 10323 teachers residence incident at Manik Bhandar area of Bhubanchara terminated 10323 teacher Dhirendra Das got severely injured following the attack of BJP supporter family group severely injured former teacher has been admitted to Agartala's prime GP hospital while talking to the media victim terminated teacher said He son got involved in a fight at school's playground and centering this around 11 or 11:30 p.m. at night. One Nepal Dev and his two sons, Rakhal Dev, brother of Nepal Dev, and his son, cumulatively attacked former teacher Dhirendra Das entering his residence. Nepal Das, Nepal Dev, Nepal Dev, do you say that Nepal Dev is brother of Rakhal Dev? Well, Rakhal Dev is a little. चुना termination of job the physical assault on him and his family by the bjp miscreants rubbed salt on the wounds bureau report halabol well that's all for our english bulletin at this moment for more news and updates stay tuned to halabol